I'm Michael Bussey. I'm one of the original co-founders of Exodus International. I left the uh, program in 1979 and have since reconciled my spirituality and my sexuality. Now I'm a vocal critic of reparative therapy programs and of Exodus International. If you didn't know that there was a gay community when you were at Exodus, how did you sort of paint what life would be like for people if they left the program? Because that's a big, that's a big portion of the X-Gay movement now, is, is vilifying the homosexual lifestyle, which right. embodies all these horrible things. Right, right, exactly. The only picture we had of, of the gay community was our own personal experience of being closeted and compulsive. So leaving Exodus meant returning to that. We didn't, we didn't know that there was an alternative. We didn't know that there were people who had integrated their spirituality and sexuality. I didn't know of any gay community. I knew of gay activists and they all seemed to just be angry, unhappy, um, anti-Christian you know, people. And I, 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 so I didn't really sense that there was any sort of gay community that I could that I could go to. Um, of course, this was pretty early on, too. I mean, the gay movement was not, you know, it was still in its infancy then. Stonewall was 1969. Uh, the American Psychiatric Association didn't re remove it from its list of disorders until 74. Exodus was formed in 76. So there, there were there was the beginnings of a gay community and, and gay support that was out there. The Metropolitan Community Church, for example, and some other places, but not a whole lot of options. And we, we taught that, Mel, uh, that Mel, uh, Metropolitan Community Church was just of the devil. So you definitely didn't go there because they kiss each other during the service and, and they have sex with each other after and, and they don't really believe the Bible and they don't really believe Jesus and, you know, so we that wasn't an option either. I'm really glad that today there are a lot more options for, for people who are struggling with these issues and, and places for, for people to land. There's an ex-gay survivor network that's growing. And there's gay Christian organizations online, Facebook groups and discussion groups. There's a, there's a wealth of, of, of uh, resources now that there weren't then.